Hi, my name is Simon and this is my discovery. Today I will be looking at rotating my tires and that got me thinking, what is the optimal way of rotating your tires? So the why is easy. We want even tread wear. So it's many reasons to get uh, uh, uneven tread wear like uh, air pressure and alignment issues. Uh, and for air pressure, if you have a lot of air in the, in the tire, you will get the high point on the center, which will uh, reveal it. You get more wear on the center. If you have too low pressure, you get wear on the outer side because the inner side is pushed in. If your alignment is off, say you're uh, turning inward, you will get more uh, wear on the inside. If the tire front tires are turning outward, offset, uh, you will get wear on the inside. From my experience, I can see more wear on the outer side on the front because of turning. Um, so you get more wear on the <laughs> other side and in the rear because of weight or uh, bad uh, uh, bushings in the suspension or uh, the tie rods. You get more wear on the inner side. So that's my experience. More wear on the rear, on the inner side front, outer side. So the main reason why is even wear and to prolong the life of our tires and to keep them in a drivable state as long as we can. Thinking of uh, stepping, vibrations and uh, keeping the tire running through when you are driving. For 4x4 tires or off-road tires, uh, I'm thinking uh, like uh, 80 tires with big lugs and hybrid tires like these are and empty tires you can experience stepping and uh, I will explain what stepping is. So if you take a look at uh, my tire, so as I said this is a hybrid tire which is uh, basically mud terrain uh, on the sides and uh, all terrain in the middle. So you can see the, the big lugs are on the side. Stepping is basically that you get a low one, high one, low one, high one, like different heights, which that's, that's why we call it step, because it's a step down, step up, step down. On my tires, being that the big lugs are split in the middle, I haven't seen so much stepping from the big lug to the next big lug. But uh, if you look closely and feel it, there's uh, stepping from this part of the lug to this part. So this is the front part, which hits the, hits the asphalt first. So it wears the most. So I've been, I've been uh, without exaggerating, I've been uh, taking a look at my tires every two weeks or some, something, just to keep an eye on them and uh, yeah, to learn about the wear on my tires. And seeing on these tires, on the left from the right, I can see that it's always the front part of the lug which hits, hits the asphalt first that wear the most. So looking at the tire, I cannot see much big difference between the big lugs. You see some are wider than these and look pretty even. The worst stepping is on the outside on my car. So I can feel more, uh, much more difference on this lug than here. It's almost smooth on this tire. Yeah. So yes, let's get the left rear on the front right. Okay, so before we start uh, talking about how, it's very important to, for me to be clear that this is for non-directional tires. Okay, so what do I mean about non-directional? So if we take a look, looking at uh, both these tires, so you can see my hybrid AT MT tire uh, can go on each of the corners of the car. Doesn't really matter. The thread pattern is so that the, the drainage, yeah, it doesn't, really, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It will be the same. When it comes to winter tires and all season tires or let's call them wet summer tires. You must check if they have a directional uh, spec for the rotation. 
often it's uh, on the side of the, of the wheel. So if you look here, you can see the tread pattern here. You can see the, the, um, the grooves, they are in a direction which leads out of the tire. So if you see, this tire could not be on the left side of the car. It should be on the right side of the car. So when a tire goes down here, this middle part hit, hits the first, water uh, gets pushed into the grooves and out of the tire. Before we start on how I will be rotating my tires from now on, it's for non-directional. For directional, so basically we have two, <laughs> two sets of tires, two for the right, two for the left, and if you have a spare, you, yeah, you need two spares if you're gonna rotate them all, I, I guess. But so the only way you can rotate directional tires is to put the two on the front at the rear and the two on the rear at the front. Only way you can do it because of the, the tread pattern which is supposed to, to uh, lead away water. Good thing about the winter tires that they are this. Good for aquaplaning, driving through the winter. And yeah, really love my Hakka Plita. LT2. I'm going to get new ones this year. I'm going up to the LT3 because these are old and you can see cracks starting to form in this uh, in the in the rubber. So yeah, these has to go. But uh, let's do the next tire. So if you're wondering why I'm not using this to start and finish the, the lug nuts is because uh, uh, they have some aluminum outer shell uh, and if you use the impact wrench too much on them they're gonna uh, be ruined, swell up I think because uh, they're not gonna be sealed up here and then the inner part of the lug nut sees uh, expandance and it ruins uh, the lug nuts. Let's see. And also remember to use the torque wrench at the end. So I'm just gonna put it on the last tire and then uh, we can talk about how I'm going to rotate my tires from now on, which I've done. So if you've been following along, you already know, but uh, let's sum it up on the, on the paperboard. Okay, so uh, <laughs> rotating your tires and how. So for some reason, I haven't thought of it, but I just rotated the tires um, clockwise. So uh, after driving 5K, I took my spare, put it on the left, uh, left rear, then left front, and then just keeping the circle going. Uh, what I noticed is that I got more uh, stepping on the outer, on one way, because you put the, 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 the lift on the front and then you get the same rotation on the tire. So I was thinking there should be a better way. And this is what I, I think is the best way to do it. It's not perfect, I don't think you can, do it perfect with five tires, but you can optimize it. Basically, you take a left rear, which goes over to your right front. Right front, go to left front. Left front, go to right rear. And if you don't have a spare, it goes to the left rear end. So you just, you just cross over and uh, yeah. I think this is going to be the best solution. And if you have a spare, you just go to the spare like so. This way you get the switch from the left to the right side uh, every time you switch the tires. Yeah, I think this is the best way. So uh, if you have a comment on that and if you have a better solution, let me know. Have you ever thought about how you rotate your tire? Let me know in a comment. So I just find it weird that I have been doing the clockwise rotation. Uh, I tried to search some videos and like one out of uh, 50 videos about tires just uh, had something. And he was not taking account. Remember, this is for non-directional. He wasn't taking account for non-directional tires. Uh, so if you have winter tires, as I said, the two in the front goes to the rear and the two in the rear go to the front because they need to turn in the right direction. Yeah. But that's it. I uh, hope that some of you learned something and you, some of you found, found this entertaining. And if you did like the, the video 
And as I said, comment if you have a better solution or your thoughts on this. And uh, have you ever thought about how you rotate your tires? Now, I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Let's go for a test drive. Torque setting, 120 newtons. Remember to do it twice. That's it. I always go 130 or 125, like a bit over. So, torque up, drive for uh, five kilometers. Torque up again, go to work next day. Then, yeah, torque up again, just to be sure.